What's up guys, Kip is here. It's November 23rd, 2012, Black Friday, and I'm here delivering my promised review and first impressions of the iPad Mini. We're going to be looking at specs, performance, and my overall impressions of Apple's foray into the 7-inch tablet market. Stay tuned. So before we go ahead and turn on the device and start flipping around iOS 6, I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick walkthrough with you guys one more time. I know my unboxing was a little wonky, and I apologize for that for the more serious people out there looking for a more honest review. But, of course, this is Kipps' channel, and we like to do things the old-fashioned way, really crappy and really silly-like. So I'm going to try and give you guys a more honest experience uh, on my end and what I think about this device. So we're going to go ahead and look at the hardware first before we get into the software. You can see on the front of the device we still do have the front facing camera which is capable of taking 1.2 uh, megapixel photos and is also capable of doing 720p video output. I think at 60 frames per second I could be wrong. Um, of course you have the iconic home button and um, We'll go ahead and hold this in one hand so you can take a look at how that looks. I don't have very big hands, so um, this device is a little chunkier to me than, let's say, the Nexus 7 was because that was a true 7-inch tablet. This is very close to an 8-inch tablet. Um, however, still holding it the, the device like this, uh, very comfortable, very usable. Um, I'm very happy with the size and very happy that Apple decided to uh, take a chance and go into the 7-inch tablet market as they should have in the first place. But that's just my opinion. So let's go to the side of the device and as you can see we have the volume rocker which is two dedicated buttons now. It's not a rocker per se, it's just two separate buttons now, volume up and down. Um, also we have the orientation lock which can be programmed inside iOS um, under general settings to also be a mute button. I'll go ahead and show you how that looks. You can see the little orange indicator. Here is the back of the device. Very simple, very clean, um, with Apple's uh, love, everlasting love, I would say, for aluminum, as the British would say. And here is your 5 megapixel rear-facing camera. It is capable of outputting 1080p video, and I'm going to go ahead and insert some pictures and moving images uh, using just the back facing camera so you guys can take a look at how that works. On the top of the device we have the sleep wake button. We also have a microphone and the middle of the device and we also have your three and a half millimeter headphone jack uh, on the far left side at the top. Flipping it around onto the bottom, we have two speaker grills. We also have the lightning bolt connector. So that's basically it. Very simple, um, clean hardware. Uh, of course, it's a fingerprint magnet, as a lot of Apple devices are, but, you know, put a case on this and hopefully you'll be well protected. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and turn the device on and uh, flip around a few things. We're going to hit the home button here, and here's the... Uh, lock screen as you can see and before I unlock the device of course this does have the picture frame option here so you can just hit that button and go ahead and turn your iPad mini into a digital picture frame which is great for grandparents who want to display photos of their grandchildren or for anybody that just really wants to display their photos when the device isn't in use so I mean that's a really handy little feature okay so here's the home page of my device um, you can see I have some folders set up here, but for the most part, these are all native apps that were on the iPad mini when I first started it. So we're just going to go ahead and flip around a few things. We're going to start in Safari and show you um, just the performance of, of web browsing. I've got the Middle East section of the New York Times open here. And because I'm from Chicago, I'd like to go ahead and look up my own hometown newspaper. Go ahead and take a look at the Chicago Tribune and flip around a few um, few things here. We'll just go ahead and take a look at a Black Friday app as it is Black Friday today. 
Um, I'm not sure if the day I upload this is going to be Black Friday anymore, but we'll, we'll take a look <laughs> anyway. Um, but as you can see, uh, zooming in and out, very smooth. Zooming up and down the page, very smooth. Uh, no pixelation, no lagging, no uh, skipping frames. So very, very good experience in Safari. So we're going to go ahead and leave that. Also going to show you how Apple Maps looks on the iPad Mini. Go ahead and triangulate my current location via Wi-Fi. And there you go. Right outside the Chicago Loop. And as you can see, works beautifully. We're going to go ahead and turn on 3D and flip around the loop a little bit. A lot of high rises, so there's a lot of stuff to render here. But as you can see, um, the content that it has loaded so far, very nice, very smooth very clean. I really like it. Um, of course, all the issues with maps aside, it's a very, very, very nice experience. I mean, I've had no problems with this whatsoever. I do love Google Maps, don't get me wrong, but the 3D feature is really cool for uh, high resolution uh, flyovers of wherever you're visiting, if it's supported in that area. Of course, you know, being such a large city, it is. But, I mean, I'm not noticing any kind of, of lag in performance here in this device. So, again, thumbs up for me. Let's go into settings. And here you go. Here are your general settings. Very similar to the experience on any other iPad that you may have on your desk or in your lap, whatever that may be. This device does come with Siri. We'll go ahead and do a quick test with that. Tell me the weather. And there you go. Pops up in a very small, uh, compact window and still looks very crisp, very nice. Um, all the complaints that I've heard so far about the display, as far as I'm concerned, they're unfounded. I do have an iPhone 5. I am used to the Retina display and I am a little bit spoiled. But for a smaller device like this, um, yeah, you're going to notice some pixelation. But overall, I mean, it's still a very solid clean looking interface. I mean, iOS in terms of mobile interfaces, I, 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 can't, I can't stress enough that the display is not going to be as big of a deal breaker as some people want to lead you to believe. So since this is touting full Facebook integration as of iOS 6, let's go into uh, Facebook and take a look at that. And as you can see, still loading tons of content and of course no lag in performance. I don't remember if I mentioned this, this does have uh, 512 megabytes of onboard storage. That's, that's D. DeFranco, David, uh, doing his uh, Black Friday thing. Hope he's having a good time. All right, so where was I? Right, 512 megabytes of onboard RAM. Of course, this does have the dual A5 chip. So you're getting a very solid um, experience in terms of performance. I mean, there is, I mean, you did see a little bit of jumping there, but once you go back and forth, very smooth, no complaints. So overall, guys, I got to say the iPad mini is an excellent device for the price. Uh, again, this is the 32 gigabyte black and slate model, and there are 16, 32, and 64 gigabyte flavors of the iPad mini in both black and slate and white and silver. I don't really have any complaints about this so far. I've had it for a few days. I've been playing around with it. And yeah, I just got to say, if you have a few extra bucks and you want to experience iOS on an iPad and you don't really want the two-handed experience of using a full-size 10-inch iPad, definitely go for this. Um, I got to say, it's, it's better than I expected. The display, I have no qualms with it. Videos look fantastic. Um, the cameras are pretty good for this device. I do wish that Apple had gone ahead and put an 8 megapixel camera on the rear of this device, as I do like to shoot quite a bit of videos in 1080p, and I like to shoot a lot of photos as well. Of course, there's another voice crack. I'm hitting perpetual puberty here. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, excellent device. 
Um, a little expensive. Uh, I would really appreciate it if Apple had dropped the price um, to maybe $299 for the entry-level 16 gigabyte model and then gone up to um, maybe $399 from there in $100 price point increments. But, you know, of course, that's just my opinion. Um, but what I really want to know is, is your opinion. What do you think about the iPad mini? Do you have one? Do you have an iPad? Do you have an iPhone? Do you really want an iPad mini? And what do you think? Just go ahead, leave me a comment, or even better, leave me a video response, and uh, let's get some dialogue moving here. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, and go ahead and leave any comments. If you have any questions, of course, like I said, let's get this dialogue started, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.